hey guys and welcome to today's vlog um i feel like i can't even like talk until i drink coffee because last night was rough wasn't it wasn't it wasn't it rough mm-mm-mm it was a rough one, Mr. Easty Man. We're trying to turn transition into the crib and it is tricky to say the least. So if you're struggling with your baby not being in the crib and not sleeping well, I feel ya. I feel ya. So anyway, I have no idea what's gonna happen in this vlog today. I have some laundry to do, some cleaning to do. So I figured I'd just share some regular old mom motivational content for you. Um, just so you can feel like you're not alone in this uh, crazy, crazy struggle that I am so in love with doing, but also it is, it's not easy. So I feel like I pick up the camera every time I look like total butt, but it's okay. That's okay. We all have those days. I just showered last night and washed my hair for the first time in like, mm, I don't know, like five days. So it's like, but I didn't blow dry or anything. So it's just like pinned straight to my head and it looks not the best. Um, I'm going to have to like put some dry shampoo in it and like, you guys know who likes that first day with hair wash? I don't. I feel like my hair is like way too clean. Um, so I need to throw some curls in it or something. Maybe do a little blow dry on the top because I feel like it's still wet. But I'm going to change this one's diaper because he was still asleep when I put him in the car seat to go take the big kids to school. And so he needs a diaper change real bad. Okay. <sighs> Behind every cute baby is a mom who looks like poop. Just kidding. Right? Just kidding. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> so I was gonna get myself a little ready um, but I don't really have a ton of time because Easton does not want to go in the little bouncer but I got some really cute products from Merit Beauty and I have to share they first of all this bag like are you kidding me how adorable and they came out with some new lip shades in little lip gloss and it's so like natural and nice and just like perfect for like everyday momming um it's perfect it's like a little tint of color but nothing too much at all um and the packaging is just like stunning and then they also sent over their bronzing stick which i'm so excited about i haven't got a chance to use it yet but i am so thrilled um honestly i should probably put foundation on first but i want to try this out i'm gonna hold it i'm gonna hold it but with my um link in the description you can get a free bag with a shade stick and they came out with a bunch of new flavors or flavors not flavors uh i guess it'd be flavors scents flavors yeah flavors um and they are so nourishing and just like so pretty on the lips um very natural so anyway i'm gonna have that link down below but i'm gonna try and put a little something on not really sure i'm gonna be able to because this one um and finish my coffee because i am dragging dragging but i got myself dressed so that's a mom win if I only put some lip gloss on today. That's still a mom win. And if you're a mom, you know. Um, but I got to do a mountain of laundry. I have so much laundry I need to get done. So much, so much, so much, so much. Yeah, nice and cold. for a much needed nap. This portion of today's video is actually sponsored by Good Picks and I wanted to share this basket with you guys. This is on their website. They have a bunch of different options, sizes, colors, different things to go with your home. Um, and I think this basket is amazing. I have used it in so many different ways around my house already. You can use it to hold your blankets. You can use it for laundry. You can use it for um, organizational storage for your kids' toys, for yourself. 
um, honestly you can use it for so many things the quality is top-notch it holds up so well um, as you can see the detail is beautiful this like corded um, fabric is so cute and I've had baskets like this in the past and they have slouched they have fallen over they have just like not held up and the quality of this is so good i'm actually blown away um, i'm gonna have everything about good picks linked down below so that way you can check them out check their website out check their amazon storefront um, and grab yourself one of these baskets because the prices are so good and the quality is definitely there um, i am a basket queen i'm a basket lover this is definitely that i'll be repurchasing because i love a good basket i love a functional basket i love a quality basket and that's definitely good picks so like i said i'm gonna have everything about them linked down below i have a ton of different options so if you have a different color scheme in your house there are different color options different sizes so if you need something smaller um, or bigger i feel like this would be so cute if you have a guest bathroom to like put towels in you put this in your linen closet you could really do so many different things with it um so like i said i'm gonna have good picks linked down below this is the one that i picked out it's an all white one and the handles are such good quality as well as the whole basket and i love it so i'm gonna get back to doing my laundry but like i said i'm gonna have good picks linked down below is up from his nap and I folded all this laundry um, all of it that um, and now I have to put it away and I am switching the laundry so I'm putting the kids laundry in there but I feel like I did some good today I, I put a good dent in the laundry oh, I turned on the wrong light and Easton took a good little nippy nap now I gotta put the kids laundry in going to make myself some lunch we have some leftover taco meat i made this for lunch yesterday because this lunch was or this dinner was like two nights ago some black beans some rice some let's see i have some fruit with it and I think that's everything. Oh, maybe some hot sauce and some chips. Um, just make like a little taco bowl and have some fruit on the side. That's what I'm going to do. Um, but let me make this before he gets like more fussy. I'm gonna try and put him in his bouncer, but he has just been on another level of fuss today, which I don't blame him because we did not sleep well. We did not sleep well last night, did we? Neither of us. to transport him into the car seat so we can go get the older kids also i think i need to change because it's kind of windy and cold outside so i think i need to put a sweater on or something We just got home and I picked up some groceries. I have to use a basket because uh, we don't have bags here. So I <laughs> had to use this and I'm gonna put it all away. Just some little things that we needed for like snacks and we need water. 
Kapoor is breaking into the good spicy the chips. The good chips. The good spicy. Jack's just sitting. Need it off the bait. You like your hair like that? Thank you. I like how you put it like all the way down. Oh, is you think you're gonna put your hand in there and get some? Oh, I'm fun. Oh, look at it. <laughs> You want some? Oh, you do. You do. Oh, is that lettuce? Yeah. Oh, we ha we so I we went into the garden mm. and we saw lettuce. You did? Did you plant anything? Nope. We see a burnout. <laughs> we see burnout. We see a burnout. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, gay, 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 go, go, gay, gay. Snuggle, 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 snuggle. Why aren't you a snuggly baby? There's not a cuddly one, huh? Huh? Mm. This is like my favorite thing when I pick up the kids is to go through their folders. Um, so we have Jack's made this. I mean, he probably made that before Easter. They are having pictures soon. Um, Tor did some math equations and. She must have made this for um, St. Patrick's Day. I love doing that. A little mom. One of my favorite mom things to do. Go through their folders and see their cute little artwork. Now I need to try and tackle this kitchen before Easton gets fussy, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. I just feel like I have so much mess, but like Easton won't let me move because he is like in such a clingy, grumpy stage right now. This little teether trying something new. I'm gonna try and do the dishes while he's in here. Captured. Yes, eat that strawberry. So yummy. I don't know what it is about you. It must be in the way you move. Just say you want me to. We got nothing to lose. You're looking so old. You're looking so old. So I am solo mom in tonight for dinner uh, for now. Um, I'm gonna make, we're just like a fend for yourself kind of nights. Um, I was gonna make chicken, but that just seems like a lot of work. Um, so I'm gonna make chicken noodle soup for Jax and Tor, you can have one, and Tor a mini pizza. And then for husband, for John and I, I'm just gonna make um, a breakfast. Breakfast for dinner is what we're gonna have, so. I don't know what kind of breakfast. I mean, I think I'm gonna do eggs, bacon, toast. I don't really wanna make pancakes, so. You won't eat those anyway. So, anyway, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I got Easton in the wrap. 
and then I try and get some things done um, best I can. It is, yeah, it's six o'clock or 6.30, I think. So it's time for Ethan's cat nap, but I'm trying to figure out what a good wake, like his wake windows and trying to figure out if I should put him to bed now or like at seven. So if he's in this wrap. So if he falls asleep, I'll lay him down in his crib. But if he doesn't, then I'll try for seven. I feel like I wasn't able to end the vlog yesterday because Easton, I was doing sleep training and I laid him down for bed and he struggled a little bit. And once I master what I do and what I did and what I will continue to do, I will definitely share that because this is hard, okay? Sleep training is hard. Um, but I hope you guys did enjoy today's vlog. Please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe. Um, let me know what kind of videos you like to see down below. I love to hear your comments and all your thoughts. Um, and I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye guys. Love, let me love, let me